is going on everybody? Eric the Electric coming back to you guys again with another video. We're back at it again guys. This is the official, the biggest, the most, and the greatest cheat day that you will ever see. Now, I did suffer a pretty big defeat this last weekend at my first major league eating contest at Knott's Bray Farm. I lost to Joey Chestnut, Mickey Sudo, and some really top eaters in the world. So it's pretty obvious I gotta work on my eating skills. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so this is where we're starting at. Keep in mind, I'm pretty bloated. I did that pie eating contest um, this Saturday. So roughly a few days later, but still holding pretty decent amount of water. Uh, let's get right to it. This is the pre-cheat day weigh-in, so. All right, what is going on everybody? It is 10, 13 right now, about to start this uh, cheat day, whatever you want to call it. Not gonna make the same mistake twice. I ideally wanted to go to McDonald's last time during my first cheat day. Uh, was like literally three minutes late for breakfast, so I'm pushing it right now, but uh, I just got done with my ride, so we're gonna head there right now. Stay tuned and see what I get. How many, how many hash browns is the lunch breakfast come with? One. One? Okay, let me get, um, how much is each hash brown? One Okay, I'll get um, five of those, please. Five more? Yeah, on the side. And then let me get one. Um, so one sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Okay. Um, one bacon, egg, and cheese, egg and cheese McGriddle. All right guys, we got two of my favorite, all time favorite breakfast items right here from McDonald's. The bacon egg McGriddles. I'm gonna call this my own creation. It's gonna be called the Electrifier. One hash brown. Observe. All right guys, here we are, first meal here. This is Eric's cheat day. Big one. It is right around 11.30 right now, way too late. I had to get a couch delivered. Got a lot of errands to run this morning, big ride. Anyways, no excuses. Let's get to it.
guys, big shout out to <clears throat> Beast Aesthetics on YouTube. I'm not gonna really reveal where he what he did, but he did do his next cheat day. Uh, previously did a twenty one thousand calorie cheat day, and um, apparently he did a little bit better. I'm not gonna say that's why I'm doing this one, but um, just felt like doing a cheat day again. Anyway, shout out to uh, Beast Aesthetics out there. Big shout out to my boy Raphael RZ Fitness. Go check out his channel. Um, he's the pioneer. In my opinion, him and um, uh, Devin Palumbo, Beast Aesthetics, are the guys that uh, pretty much did everything along with Warren Morrell. Uh, they are the uh, engineers behind the huge cheat days. So, uh, shout out to you guys, uh, pretty much everybody out there. Um, yeah, so let's keep going. Alright guys, so pretty much halfway through, so I got the heavy muffins, my electrifier, um, yeah, so we're getting through it pretty good. I always used to love, um, breakfast is my favorite meal of the day, and um, as a kid, I can just always remember that syrup on my laptop, shit. Um, um, always used to love going to McDonald's and stuff, so I had to beat their 10.30 breakfast time today. I missed it last time, so I wanted to make sure that I got it. So, what I mainly want to bring up though, and I won't ramble too long about it, is this whole concept of cheat days with people. Um, a lot of people think I'm actually being serious, you know, that I follow like a contest prep diet with when I do these videos and I want everybody to know that it's pretty much me just poking fun at everybody and joking around. Granted, I don't eat like this every day. <laughs> can pretty much... I'd be 400 pounds if I did eat like this every day, but I do follow a flexible lifestyle. So, I don't necessarily believe in restricting yourself and everything like that.
All right, guys. It's about 12 o'clock. We're all done with meal one. Didn't track every single thing. I'll put it in and put it up on the screen, and you'll be seeing it. Right now, we're off to the next one. Stay tuned, guys. All right, what is going on, everybody? Earth Electric. We're done with breakfast, I guess you could say. It is about 12, 19. So the way I see it, I have about, yeah, roughly, you know, 12 hours. You know, I don't get my eating started pretty late because I went on a ride this morning just like, I usually like to kick my days off. Um, so I'm gonna go over really briefly, try to keep this video pretty brief, as brief as possible. Um, obviously got my liquid calories, gonna be doing um, no soda or anything, gonna be doing Powerade. I got two on me right now. I did two down with <clears throat> breakfast. So we're gonna be drinking those throughout the day. I have two right now in the car with me. Uh, we're headed to the new destination. Um, other than that, we're pretty much just gonna free ball it. This is uh, gonna be different because there's not gonna be an eating challenge I'll be doing. Did my last one, which pretty much, in my opinion, set me up for a huge failure of a day. I was super bloated. I was like not feeling good with all that sodium, all that fat. So I'll try to keep it. I was, I believe I was around 5,000 calories for 4,500 to 5,000 with my first meal of the day. So um, we should see, you know, where we'll end up and everything like that. I'm gonna go get this, uh, go get my uh, next meal or whatever you want to say already dialed in, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens from there. But uh, other than that. Uh, we're going about this. I, nothing's planned or anything like that. So uh, you know, it is it is what it is. So I'll be putting the numbers up on the screen for you guys, showing you where I'm at, and of course the food porn. So stay tuned, guys. Serious? What's going on everybody? Eric the Electric coming to you guys again. It's about 1.30 right now. I'm at the gym. So, I only place in San Diego. Krispy Kreme location is about 45 minutes away. Not 45 minutes, but over a half hour. So I just drove there to get these bad boys right here. Um, and I was going to eat them after the gym, but I figured I'd do half now, half later type thing. Um, just to get it started. Um, it's been about an hour and a half since my last meal, my first meal, I guess you could say. Um, got started already on my um, third Powerade, and I got this one here, so I'll be chowing down half these before I start. So, you know, I'm gonna do squats and deadlifts today, um, and hopefully not puke. So, it'll be better than last time, though, since I didn't do a food challenge before I trained. So, here we go, let's get to it. Having a Krispy Kreme in a long time, guys. Pretty much melts in your mouth. It's pretty typical in these cheat day videos. That's pretty much why I'm doing it, so. Which may be a really stupid move before I go deadlift. Eight thousand calories in me after this. Should be good enough fuel, right? whatever you want to call it. Alright guys, it's about 145, we're at the halfway part. Um, so right now, we're looking at just the apple fritter left. Glaze, chocolate glaze, sprinkles, strawberry eclair, um, and the pumpkin cheesecake. And um, 
So, it is what it is for now. Probably gonna um, go train right now and then see where we're at afterwards. So, stay tuned, guys. Going on everybody got my five guys right here um, double bacon cheeseburger and then a normal cheeseburger with mayo on it um, actually looks pretty bomb I've never had five guys before um, yeah it looks pretty good actually it looks like they're both doubles so two doubles and then a large fry uh, large root beer and then we got uh, the rest of my Powerade and then of course the rest of the Krispy Kremes right here. So after this meal, I should be right around 13,500 for the day. Just got done training, so I'm gonna get to it. And then also, I have two tablespoons of ranch right here, just to, I've always been a huge ranch guy. So, uh, but yeah, let's get right to it. All right, guys. Um, midway through, I guess my lunch slash second official meal. Got my donuts here. Um, I'm uploading. I just uploaded some of my footage from today, and I'm realizing that it's blurry. I'm such an idiot. And yes, I know. I had to stop because I wanted to upload my footage. So I apologize for the blurry footage. Um, hopefully, got it fixed. <laughs> It's a problem when I don't have an LED screen on my uh, Sony Action Cam, so I'm going to be charging this thing up and then uploading everything. Hopefully, will be unblurry. So, anyways, midway through. Stay tuned, guys. I'm watching that Judge Judy. Anyways, guys, we're having some serious problems with my camera. Just got it running again. Been excited to try this. This is the Strawberry Eclair. Eclair donut. So, I'm stoked to try this one. It's about 4.10 right now. So, anyways, let's get to it. Oh my god, that's one! Woo. I guess I just love donuts that much. Really quick, I just want to give a shout out. Just saw him at the gym, Michael Castro. Thank you for recommending Five Guys to me. Never had Five Guys before this. And I gotta say, I'm very impressed. So, shout out to you, Michael. Whew.
right, guys. Everything's done. That's all done. Power eight's almost there. A little bit of root beer left and then one more donut. That should be good. Alright guys, what is up? <clears throat> it is 4.50. Check out my new shades. I'm liking it. Anyways, here is um, my Powerade, the fifth one. I'm gonna be taking the bottle right here and going out of my ride right now. Just gonna hit up the store, do some errands, and uh, see you guys at the next snack, if it's a snack, or the next meal. So, stay tuned guys. And the churls in there too? I'm afraid of Guys, don't buy bikes at Costco. Just don't do it. Alright guys, as you can see, we have everything right here, the bacon wrap pizza, the new pizza from Little Caesars, 
their cheesy bread and teriyaki wings right here. And I just picked these up. These are limited time only. Cheetos, Sweetos. That's all we have in those as well. And then we're gonna do a Sprite. I'm gonna pass my bedtime so I can have no caffeine. And then a little bit more of my strawberry Powerade. It's my sixth one. Put it in the freezer. It's kind of like a slushy right now, and I'm kind of liking it, so I'm gonna go with that right now. Um, all in all, after this, we're gonna be right around 20,000, 21,000 calories for the day. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we're all set up here. 8:55. Pizza. Everything. Let's do this now. <clears throat> just so y'all know. I'm an idiot and left my charge, charging, oh lord Jesus, charging cord in my car for my camera, so I might have to get out film this again. I really need to get better with my filming. <laughs> At this point I don't really care, but when I do another one of these, if I ever do, God help my soul, I'm going to get a better camera and just be better with this, so. <laughs> Anyways, let's do it guys. It's probably the worst decision of my life. Screw it. Woo. Wow. That is like heaven in my mouth. So, halfway through this pizza. Wings are pretty much down. That's halfway through, pretty much. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm gonna start on those. I'm trying to charge my camera right now and because I left it in the car and it seems to be charging on one setting right now or if it's even charging at all. So I'm having to record with this. So it's pretty slow right now, but I am still alive. That's what matters guys. Still alive and fighting. All right, guys, halfway through, I had to like charge my camera up a little bit so I can get them enough power. Anyways, I'm looking for a little differentiation with the flavor profile, so I will dive into these right now. They do smell really good. I'll check those ones out. Um, so, it's going to be right around 1,200 calories for the bag. Kind of like little churro looking things. All right, what is up everybody? Eric the Electric, 10.22. Still got a few more hours to go yet. Um, this is my sixth or seventh Powerade. I'll have it, I'll have everything up. All the numbers and everything like that when I make the video. Um, yeah, I'm really starting to <clears throat> get there, get full. I believe I'm around 23, 24,000 calories right now. So I still think I can manage to get over that barrier uh, I have a few secret weapons that I'm going to be throwing at you guys um, to get there, so stay tuned. 